we can come outside and this is my favorite shop in the city and it's actually my shop and I also live here so it's a hello and welcome back to you to the YouTube channel in the last episode I said that if we got 10 likes I would do a tour of my survival world, and we got 10 likes, so I'm doing a tour of my survival world, and I've been doing this world for a very long time, but let's start where it all started, which is in this swamp, somewhere around here is spawn, this is where it all started, so let's put on our gear, kill this creeper, Let's move on. This is around where I spawned into the world. And after I spawned in, I made a boat. I was swimming across the lake through the swamp. I passed right through here. And I think I came just about here. And somewhere around here, there's a trail of lily pads across the river that I made as I was coming to this area. And I found this area. I thought this was looked like the perfect area to settle. So I settled down here. I came through. I walked over to this river, swam across it, and then I started a mine in this place, and then it kind of turned into my base, and now it's been upgraded, we have a beacon, this goes right through there, we have, this is the dragon egg, auto smelter, and some storage, enchanting room, uh, this is just some random room we, we made sheep pen and I don't know why we have a cow in there but this uh, we'll talk about later so after I joined into the after I loaded up the world I came here I made a base I settled down I got a dog and then after all of that I turned this into a realm and uh, my brother joined and so he joined, we made him a house, and this is his house. Then, a few hours after that, one of my friends joined. And at that point, it ended right here, and he just had a few chests here, which was his house. But then later on, we built him this house. These are all his pets. This is the armor he used to fight the Ender Dragon. This is a nether portal, and this is where the journey started. This is my house again, I have a desk. This is the first pickaxe in the entire server. And of course I have a secret entrance here, because who doesn't? And if we can get through here, this brings us on outside to this building which has been redone a few times but built all the times so that this is made by my brother he built it and then destroyed it and rebuilt it in a different way and as we come in here this was meant to be um, where we keep all of our redstone but it was never really used Although in the bottom level, we do have some storage and some uh, nether wart growing here. But it's never been fully finished. Although this base is never really going to be done. It's always going to be worked on. Uh, this is some wheat, but it really got destroyed. It used to be a lot longer. We have some bamboo. 
this is a bridge we made across because we made two bridges. And then later on, we made this huge wall to protect us from mobs. And we have this piston door and this nice bridge to take us outside. And moving back into the house, yeah, we have a haste 2 beacon as you can see. Haste 2. And. A uh, skeleton horse right here. Yeah, we collected a ton of skeleton horses. I don't know why. Um. Oh, I forgot to show you. Up here we have a mob farm. And this was. We were supposed. We were um, hoping to be able to get some gunpowder from this, but it was not super efficient. So we didn't didn't work that well. But yeah, there is some gunpowder, some arrows, some bones. Yeah. Okay. This is not a very good way to prove my point. Uh, so we have all of this, and this is our main base. Oh, and this is a tent that I built, but it never, I never actually moved in here. So this is all the nice stuff, but then we had to tackle the situation of food, because we did not have enough food at the point. So, as you come down here, and you see this tunnel... So this tunnel leads us to the latest project we're working on, which is a city, which I'll show you that later. Coming down here, we have an XP farm, which is a zombie spawner, nothing special. And if we take this track, we can go to our tree farm and um, like wheat field. I just want to take this time and say thank you for all the support on the last video I put out. I really did not expect that much. So thank you so much. And just on this ton. And this tunnel is, n is not very... It's not finished yet. It's going to be all granite and wood. This is all mine. It only goes down to Y11. We haven't extended it to... Y negative 59 for the 1.18 update. And the tree farm, usually it's a lot more full than this. But I'm trying to clear it out so we can replant all the trees in a more organized fashion. And then this is sugar cane, pumpkins, melons, and this is all wheat right here. Like, after filling, after, um, harvesting all of this, you get, like, five stacks of wheat, it's way OP. And none of this stuff is automatic. Although, we do have an automatic creeper farm here. So, it's, this is for sugarcane, it's not that effective. But I would have put a hopper minecart under the glass. And, um. But I couldn't because it would intrude with the creeper farm. So that makes it a little less efficient, the sugarcane farm. But the creeper farm gets the job done. This marks the entrance down. So down here we get sh sugarcane, some gunpowder, and then we have this big like tower of scaffolding that we use to afk and go up here this is my afk spot so i stand up here wait like 15 minutes i get a stack of gunpowder and moving on down here to the best part of this world which is the city project and it's not that far there is a tunnel that leads us there the like is faster so as we come over here, this is still being built, but this is our city. So I've done all the buildings here, and then these two, these three actually are my brothers. 
So we'll start out with my sister's flower shop. This is her shop. She likes to sell flowers and whatnot. So she has this, and I just made the interior yesterday. Yeah, Talia's flower and wood shop. And then this is my brother's apartment. It's pretty nice. And this is his house. And this is uh, only the front stone, so it's not much in here. But next up, onto this side of the street. Uh, I built this. This was the first building in our city. And right now, yeah, most of the time the plates are have the pressure plate, but someone destroyed all of them. So we have the counter with all the food and a smoker. And these are like the places where you sit down, you get your food, etc. And then coming up here, we have like an apartment and a pretty basic. And then back downstairs. We are moving on to the second building, which is my friend's shop, and he sells all sorts of stuff. It's full of items. Yeah, this is his fox. We got an Arctic fox a few days ago, and then we bred it up, and now we all have them. And this is top level of his house he got he's got a lot of dogs and, and down here is he has a few farms a water farm um, I don't know what this is a whole ton of chickens and yeah way too many eggs and as you come up here, we can come outside. And this is my favorite shop in the city. And it's actually my shop. And I also live here. So it's a barber shop. You walk in here, you sit down. And then uh, these candles are like the hair products and the scissors. This is Firefox. And this is my pet axolotl who lives on the wall. I don't know why. And then this is my the level of my house that's downstairs and um has a pool table, has some paintings, pretty nice, a jukebox back there and some mob heads. I just recently got a trident, so I was experimenting with that. And this is my actual house, and I did the interior of this, which I'm quite proud of. And this is like my gaming setup, so I got a mouse, uh, no, keyboard, mouse, monitor. Um, this is my fireplace. Uh, I do not know why this is here, but it is. Um, this is a buried treasure map, some more. Mob heads, so this is the first diamond on the entire server, so I keep that pretty safe. And I have a milkshake maker, I have a sink, potted flower. As we come upstairs, I have, oh yeah, I emptied out all my shulker boxes here. And, um, Yeah, I have three electras, so it's pretty good. And then this is all my storage. Smithing table, loom, jute box, um, cartography table, and crafting table. And I have some storage, some bookshelves. Right here I have an endo chest. I got two shredders and I haven't... I wanted to put a whip tile on this, but I have not got to that yet. Some sponge, some extra gunpowder. 
And I have two compasses. One leads me to the end portal, one leads me home. And uh, this is my dog, my second dog. And as we come outside, this bench is in memory of all the pets. So we have a uh, horrible incident where three horses and one fox died in this ravine. So we made that uh, bench in memory of all the pets who died here. And moving back here, next up is apartment building. It's humongous. Like, this thing took so long to put together. Of designing it. I designed all these in creative, so it took a long, long time of designing, good material gathering, building, texturing, and it's still not fully done. You can see the roof, it has to be finished. I've been putting it off for a while. And back down here. Um, the lobby, again, it's not finished. It's gonna have, like, the checkout room, some, uh, suitcases here. And then, up the stairs here, we have, a villager mess. And we can continue up here to Talia, Talia's house. Just got a fireplace and dog bed here. Just got a couch and a glass table. And above this is my brother's house. So he's got like a kitchen, table, couch, fireplace. Some uh, shelving, and this is his office. He used to have an ender chest right here, but he moved it because he moved out to a different house that he built himself. And this is his bedroom. I don't know why, but he's a piece of ancient debris in there. And we can take the express route out. Coming down here. Oh, we have a creeper. Okay. Do not blow up my stuff. Do not blow up my stuff. Okay, good. Um, yeah, we have a huge chest monster here. It's beginning to take over the street. And this is all a disorganized mess. Although, we do have some organization here. So this is full of stone. Folder the blend with granite. We have some brick, some wood, and I'm gonna fill up all these chests, but I'm still walking on that. And then this is a little stand that my sister. This was her original flower shop. Now, of course, she moved over there. And. Well, last but not least, we have a little carnival here. So there's two games I made. One of the games is where you... Um, I don't have any diamonds on me, but you... Pretend, say this is a diamond, you would put it in. And that gives you one try. So then, if you hit, yep, and you win. If you miss, you don't get your diamond back, so... And then this game is like bowling, where you have ice and you have to skid your item across ice into there, although it gets harder because it'll stop, it'll lose its uh, momentum on these blocks, so you have to get it directly through there. It's not incredibly hard, and you can go and collect your block again. And here you could collect your arrow. Pretty simple, but pretty fun too. And that is it for my world. 
thank you so much for coming around and watching. And I really appreciate it. And make sure to hit the like button. And if you think the video deserved the like rating, that would be much appreciated. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.